now the topic before us is saccaline triangle now the question arises what is the meaning of saccaline triangle a saccaline triangle is the triangle where all the three sides of the triangle have different length suppose this is 5 cm this is 6 cm and this is 7 cm further property of saccaline triangle is that the angles are different these are the three different angles it may be say 60 degree it may be say 40 degree it may be 45 degree so, so all the angles are different and all the sides and the lengths of the sides are different this is a saccaline triangle the area of such a triangle can be calculated using the heron's formula but the condition is is this that we should know the lengths of all the three sides now the question before us is you have a triangle part whose sides are 40 meter 32 meter and 24 meters how will you calculate the area of triangle so now we will make a triangle so say this is 40 meter this is 32 meter and this is 24 meter this is the triangle before us we are to calculate the area of the triangle now for the purpose of calculating the area of triangle we will use the heron's formula what is the heron's formula As per Heron's formula, area of triangle is equal to under root S, S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Now, what is the meaning of S? S is semi perimeter what is the meaning of semi perimeter semi perimeter means half of the perimeter in the given example if we take the total of length of all the three sides that is the total of 40 meter 32 meter and 24 meter the total length of all the boundaries the triangle it is known as perimeter and semi perimeter is equal to half of perimeter now what is the meaning of a which is given here a b or c a is the length of side a now what is the meaning of b length of side b what is the meaning of C? Length of side C. So, first we will calculate the value of S. It is the half of the perimeter. What is the perimeter? Here it is the total of A, B, C. This is perimeter. This is divided by 2. Now, when we calculate the total, it will come 96 over 2. S is equal to 48 meter. What is the value of P? It is 96 meter. So, now we will use the, we will put in the values of S, A, B and C in the given formula. What is the value of S? S is 48. What is the value of A? It is 40. Now, what is the value of B? It is 32. What is the value of C? It is 24. Very good. 
whether we have put correct values okay under root 48 multiplied by 48 minus 48 into 48 minus 32 16 48 minus 24 it is 24 we will do prime factorization in 48 as already told prime factorization is the process where we find out the prime numbers which when multiplied can give the original number prime numbers are those numbers which can be divided by itself or by one only we have already told you there is some examples of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. These types of numbers which cannot be divided by any other number other than 1 or the number itself. So, we can further divide the 48 into 16 into 3, we can further divide 16 into 4 into 4, we can further divide 4 into 2 into 2. Now, what is the prime factorization of 48? This is 2 into 2, 2 into 2 and 3. What is the prime factorization of 8? 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. This is the prime factorization of 8. What is the prime factorization of 16? 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. Then what is the prime factorization of 24? We will do here. 12 multiplied by 2. 4 multiplied by 3. 2 multiplied by 2. So, we, we will go from here. 2 multiplied by 2, 4 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2. So, we will do prime pairs, make pairs. This is pair, this is pair. 2 square into 2 square. We will do this is 3, this is again 3, 3 square. These are the 4 numbers, 2, 2 square into 2 square. This is again square of 2, this and this, this is the square of 2 and this is again the square of 2. So now, we will remove under root, we will take these values because we are removing under root and we will cut under root with this 2 from this 2, this will be 3, this will be 2, this will be 2, we have done so far, we will do this, this and this. Now we will multiply. Three eighty four. Now this is the answer before us. Three eighty four square meter. This is the area of triangle. What we have done that we have made the squares of these numbers, and we have divided this this square with the under root, and we have bring out only one digit of the same because this square has been removed. So, after multiplying all these items, the answer before us is 384 square meter. Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.